Previously, we saw how urban grooves music in the late 90s and the early 2000s had similar characteristics with Zimbabwe's early urban sound in the 30s. The question becomes, why then is there very little western style artists between this period? To be fair, there were artists such as Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo is said to have performed psychedelic rock or Zim Heavy. A genre of music played in Zimbabwe townships. Rock was popular in Southern Africa in the 70s and was particularly popular in Zambia, where Zam Rock ruled the charts, as well as the Seeker Brothers in the 80s and early 90s. The Seeker Brothers performed. A sound that was based on disco, hip hop, and pop, and can be considered a precursor to urban grooves. The hit song Saturday Night in the 1980s was a massive hit. The Reseeker Brothers are fondly remembered for their adverts. The Reseeker Brothers one of the first Zimbabwean musicians to get endorsements. The first advert was from Merlin Towles in 1986 and you can see from this advert their hip-hop style. They followed this ad up with another one in 1991. Then Gwere and Gwere advert which became very popular. Both these efforts have become folklore and cult-like in Zimbabwean TV culture and probably carry a special place in most Zimbabweans' hearts who grew up in the 90s. But beyond these artists, there wasn't much western influence sounds. When local artists such as Lavo Majaivana and Olvum Tukudzi started in the 70s, they were highly inspired by international acts. This era saw the artists grow to a more traditional African sound in order to grow their audience base and become more commercial. You see, this all has to do with what was happening on the African continent in the 50s and the 60s.